One art prize entry has created enough controversy that it sparked a protest today out on Calder Plaza. The entry highlights more than 30 victims who were killed in dog attacks this year, most of them involving pit bulls. Today, pit bull owners took to the plaza in hopes of balancing that message. It's a big entry in a prominent location here at the Calder Plaza. More than 30 crosses, 30 faces. So many of those pictured are young children. All of them victims of dog attacks across the country this year, the artist says. The piece is called Out of the Blue, how so many of the attacks are described to have happened. But those who gathered here in protest... So, I knew what I wanted. ...want to show that there's another side to the dogs most prominently mentioned in these violent attacks. He's very gentle. Would you like to pet him on the head? Mm -hmm. It's Micah. Tanya Corian says this is an important message. We're here to show the other side of our dogs that responsible ownership is the key to owning these animals. She not only owns a dog in the bull family, meet Micah, she also is certified to train them. The display here is as troubling to her as anybody. It saddens me because there's a lot of lives lost here. I'm glad it's here, actually, because it opens the dialogue. The artist who installed the piece wasn't here as the protesters gathered wearing T-shirts to bolster their message, which clearly takes any blame for the attacks off of the animal. We kind of took offense to the fact that these were kind of, you know, pin-picked uh, bully breeds that most often, um, or most often in this piece here, are displayed as, as bully breeds are the ones that killed them. And when, you know, I don't know that breed is necessarily needed in this piece. Art Prize executives say this event is all about the conversation, and this one certainly stirs just that. This one makes me sad. The colorful one over there made me happy. It's all about the owners, and we need to take responsibility as owners. And with that, the conversation continues. We did just speak with Joan Cowell, who entered that piece. She says that some of the families of victims featured in her piece are offended that protesters would do this at the memorial. She says a pastor came out this afternoon to pray for the victims who lost their lives.